our work, when you really boil it down, big picture, is twofold. It's addressing both supply and demand. Uh, because it's really hard to advocate for deployment in underserved communities if you don't know where those communities are. So again, as I mentioned, we track this access to know where the underserved communities are. So that's a supply function of our work. But then we actually, uh, we also do a great deal of work with communities to build demand because providers are businesses and telecommunications companies are businesses after all. And we understand mm -hmm. that they're not going to be uh, often very interested in going to a community where they can't justify a business case for deployment in those communities. The staff at URTV had been trying to figure out a way to implement uh, webcasting and video on demand into our facilities for months. Um, it is pretty much cost prohibitive for a small facility, particularly of our size, to do that. Um, so the uh, ENC authority came in, um, the grants proposal and uh, the funds from the grant helped us tremendously be able to accomplish that goal. They actually matched our funds. Without that grant, it would not be possible for us to do what we are doing. Uh, so that, I can't stress enough how important that was to us as a facility and to our community in general. Um, video on demand and webcasting has increased our facility's capabilities tremendously. The producers uh, are most excited, and for good reason. Before we had this, we were, URTV could only be seen in Buncombe County via charter cable. So we are pretty localized in terms of how far your, your message or whatever your expression was trying to go. Um, with the addition of webcasting and video on demand, now our producers are worldwide. Um, so that's, I think, very exciting for the producers. Obviously, they're amped um, because if they have friends across the state or across the country or across the globe, if they have internet access, they can watch their productions. So now their voice is global as opposed to very localized. Buckham County Government Channel, which is BCTV, um, provides programming for the citizens of Buckham County on the uh, county departments. Of course, we uh, film the, the commissioner's meetings, and we do various regular monthly programming um, on different topics. Um, the grant that we got from ENC um, provided us, um, one main thing was an Apple XServe that enables us to download or archive all of our video footage. And that is helping tremendously because we have, in the past, had all of our footage, uh, B-roll, everything on tapes, and had no good record of, of all the footage. So now we're able to, to encode it to the server and it's like a database mm -hmm. to where the guys can just go in and if it's a certain topic like pools, they can go in and do a search and then they have all their footage that they need. It's, you know, public access is, is a major and very important resource for any community that it's in. So that's a good chance for people to express themselves, their interests, their concerns with their community that they live in. Um, so that's always vital, but for in order for more isolated places to be able to express themselves and share ideas with the rest of the world, you know, that's, that's what all the excitement is about here this last, you know, this decade and, and the time to come. So um, that gives us a chance to facilitate that for our community, Buncombe County and the citizens of Asheville City, uh, to be able to express themselves, not just to their neighbors, but all over the world. For, also for the grant, um, the, our commissioners decided to move out of the courthouse and we had to build them a new chamber. So because of that and all of our equipment that, were in, that was in the original chamber, um, we replaced it and we used the grant money to buy all new equipment. We got new cameras, um, a TriCaster that helps us with the switching and an audio system. So we furnished the, the new chamber. Well, one thing that we really want to do with the channel, since all the, the franchises are going away with the cable, we're wanting to try to come up with a way to stream our channel live on our website. So we're looking at some equipment that hopefully um, the grant with ENC or maybe another grant will be able to help us purchase that equipment. Along with streaming the channel live, we want to, with the 
commissioner's agenda, mm -hmm. take that and with our video of the meeting, then the meeting, the video will match the agenda. So if anybody wants to go to a certain area in the, the meeting, in the agenda, mm -hmm. a topic, then they can just click on that topic and it will take you right to that place on the video. Right. So that's going to be helpful. We are here because this county had an econ economy that was devastated by the collapse of the textile and furniture industry. We have been a tier one uh, unemployment county for as long as anybody can remember, but probably going back to 1995. Um, a group of concerned citizens got together realizing that our children and our businesses would never thrive without broadband and started educating themselves and organizing themselves and educating the leadership of this county uh, to the advantages of having a broad, broadband availability. Uh, as they found out that there would be limited possibilities of having a carrier come in and build a broadband infrastructure that we could use because of the lack of density in this county. We're 550 square miles with only about 60 to 62,000 people. Um, we um, uh, caught the attention and became partners with a group out of Raleigh uh, tasked with promoting rural broadband called the ENC Authority run by Jane Smith Patterson. And they, at that time, had grants, matching grants, and were able to work with this interest group um, uh, who had gone to the trouble and had educated themselves and had actually gotten the county made one of the few uh, E counties. So we, are, we are actually uh, E Rutherford, and that was really the name of the group also, E Rutherford. Uh, and we were able to, to uh, uh, put the grant together and form this nonprofit, Foothills Connect Business and Technology Center, which I run, to develop, redevelop our economy using broadband technologies as the base for a new economy. In that regard, we are developing small businesses and I have a toolkit of services that we put at the disposal of small businesses. Historically, we've actually been funded, even though we are, uh, we are a state organization with a legislative mandate by North Carolina state government, all of our work has been funded, um, again, primarily by a one-time grant from a private foundation. Uh, and so it's only been actually in the last two years or so that we've had uh, any type of substantial uh, financial support from the state.